she got the fire race to fire race. Yes, y'all, my name is S to the K A L E S Scales from Lagos, Nigeria. Your name Skills is an acronym for Seek Knowledge, Acquire Large Entrepreneurial Skills. Yeah. So what entrepreneurial skills have you learned? Um different kinds of ones, you know, I'm into like fashion, mm -hmm. I'm into selling goods, different kind of things, selling music also, you know. Yeah. So of course like you know if you're if you're doing music you also need to understand the business part of it. It's not just only just about the music. That's if you're a business person, you know, so definitely that's all I'm trying to do. That's why, you know, I, can't, I had to give it that meaning, sick knowledge, acquire large entrepreneurial skills. So I'm still learning mm -hmm. about a couple of things also you know, while I'm at it. Mm. You're all about, all about getting the coin. Definitely. <laughs> you know, that too. And, you know, following my dreams, chasing my dreams also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your tracks, booty, language, temper, fire, waste are very popular in East Africa, especially mm -hmm. in Kenya. Yeah. Do you package your music differently um, for different um, sectors? When I make music, I just think about everybody, you know. I don't really like say, oh, it's going to go over here. I just think about, okay, we can all come together. When they do a show and there's Kenyans, there's Nigerians, there's South Africans, they should be able to all sing this song together, you know. Mm. That's how I think, you know. You've worked with Nicki Minaj, Party Next Door for a run-up. Um, how did that collab come about? Um, it happened last year, right? Yeah, last year. Mm -hmm. I um, Diplo came to Nigeria and, you know, we've been talking online and stuff. So we got to see each other for real, face to face. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were rolling. We spent like probably 48 hours together just going up, going about to different studios. You know, me taking them around Nigeria, driving him around and stuff. So, you know, he was just playing. Oh, really? while, yeah, while we're in the car, we're just playing joints and stuff. So he played Run Up for me. I'm like, yo, you know this song is big, blah, blah. And I say, yeah, it was actually inspired by a Nigerian song. I'm like, oh, really? He's like, oh, can you help me do like an Afrobeat remix? I'm like, yeah, why not? So he just sent me the files, and I took it home, and that's how we worked on the, on the um, remix. And he went back to Amer America with it, and he told me, yo, Nikki is gonna talk about this song because she played it for her, and she was she went crazy about it, and she really liked it. I was like, really? I mean, I mean. Weeks later, I just I just I was in London and I just saw a post from Nicki Minaj tagging me and stuff. That was how it all happened, and mm -hmm. you know it's been just a smooth journey. And we kept the relationship. You know we worked on so many things. You know they've done um mixtapes that they had my songs on them and stuff like that. Yeah. Your latest release with Davido is a banger. And um, what's the one thing you've learned about money since you've blown up? You've had a long career. Yeah. People think that you just came up the other day, but yeah. it's been almost. 18, 10 years or something yeah, like that? close to 10 years. Yeah. Um, you know, I've learned that you got to save, man. You have to save mm -hmm. and you have to invest wisely and spend your money wisely. Mm -hmm. you know, that's one thing I've learned. You get me? I've not fallen a victim of any, you know, thing yet. Mm -hmm. But I've learned from people's story that you have to invest wisely and not don't just blow money anyhow. I mean, there's some times when you want to spend on yourself, you know, because you work hard for it. But also, think about the rainy day <laughs> get when th nothing is happening nothing is working okay what is my backup plan you know to get more dough mm -hmm. and stuff yeah. what's been your biggest purchase since we are talking about saving and everything my biggest purchase has to be a house mm -hmm. yeah that's my biggest purchase a house and lands basically mm -hmm. yeah. yeah um so we'll play a game it's for real or nah based off your, your song. So I'll ask you a question and you'll tell me whether it's for real as in yes, you agree or no, nah, you don't agree. Okay. Um, so being an only child is dope. For real or no? Nah? Yeah, very dope <laughs> actually, yeah. Um, working with Banner Boy was a learning experience, for real or no? Nah? Yeah, for real, for real, yeah. yeah. Um, I am an ass man, for real or no? Nah? What? <laughs> Your song, Booty Language. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. Of course. Definitely, man. <laughs> you know, that's key. Yeah, major key. <laughs> major key, man. <laughs> um, my music reflects my life's journey. For real or not? Nah? For real, yeah, for real. Do you mind talking about that? Um, you were in an accident. You've created your own label, OMK Music. OHK, oh, sorry. Um, and you're still quite young and and now you're really blowing up like 
major. What, what, what do you have to say about where your music is going and the direction you've taken? Um, you know, I would say it's a dream come true. Even though I'm not at my peak yet, but it's a dream come true. It's just one more step towards the dream, you know, every day. So um, it's just been fulfilling. I've been inspired. You know, I've been traveling the world. You know, since I left my house probably a month ago, I haven't seen my house again. I miss my bed. But yeah, it's good because I travel to all these countries and I gather all this inspiration. And when I go back home and get into the studio, it's like. It just keeps coming out, it's smooth sailing, you know, and hopefully I get back home, make another bigger track and we move on again to another level. But yeah, basically it's been a smooth experience and, you know, I'm really happy, I'm inspired. I feel like my f I've been refoiled to want to come back harder again, you know. Um, what, what's the one thing you're excited about for Cook Studio? Who are you working with? Um, her name is um, Nandi. I'm really excited about working with her. She's amazing. She's dope. Mm -hmm. She's she's talented. She has a very dope voice. You get me for lack of better words, dope voice. Mm -hmm. And you know, I can't wait to like I can't wait for the world to see what we've been working on. You know? mm -hmm. Last question. I'm seated right next to you, and I can see your beard is fleeky, <laughs> and you got blonde hair like me. <laughs> so what's your a uh, beard routine what how do you because you have no ingrowns like the edge up is nice what yeah. what do you do i just shave like almost like every day mm -hmm. which is not cool <laughs> but you know but it just comes with the whole if you if you want it you have to work hard for it you know so yeah I just probably like shave every day because i'm doing myself so you know that money goes down for that so <laughs> i do that then maybe just get like creams and oil like oils and stuff to just maintain it mm -hmm. you know but i mean i was blessed to have like um parents from d different parts of the world that came together so you know it's cheat mode for me i don't have to do too much you know the hair just is always relaxed and cool mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. All right, thank you so much. If you're watching the sauce. You can subscribe. Yeah.